So if you're considering GoDaddy as your web host or domain registrar, uh, please just stop it. Just leave their website. And in my opinion, it's just not worth it. And I'll tell you why in this video. Take sweat punch. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert. And my first beef with GoDaddy is their misleading marketing. And I mean, this industry is notorious for this, but they have taken it to the next level. Uh, it starts immediately on their website. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm here on GoDaddy and I searched for the domain name. It's available. And as you can see here, one cent for the first year with two year registration. So it sounds like pretty cheap, right? They make quite bold, it's one cent. And that sounds pretty good deal to me. So let's make it ours. I'm gonna add it to my cart. There's an upsell here, but I'm gonna just skip it for now. Okay, let's go. Let's see what I have now. So I need later. All right, so what do I get? Oh, no, these are actually upsells. Problem is uh, most other domain registrars offer all of this for free. So you don't actually need this stuff. This should be by default because this is a security issue. It, I don't know how they even get away with this. All right. Start your website free so you get some sort of a thing, but it's never free. You might be able to start it free, but I'm just going to uncheck it. So uh, how much am I actually paying? I don't see. So for email, no, I don't need that. Go to the cart. No, I have to pay 20 bucks, not one cent. So, okay, that's two year. Uh, how much is for one year? All right, 11. So 12 bucks uh, if I take that one. And you can see after the one year is over, you'll have to pay 20 bucks. This is quite often uh, the case with any other uh, provider as well. So on Namecheap, I search for the same domain name and you can see that here I have for uh, about $9 and then the next year it will be $14. Now you can see you already saved money here. And what's crazy to me is that this is a public company and they are well known and have been around for ages. Still, they get away with this stuff. The second issue I see with GoDaddy hosting is that their products are so overpriced. And I get it. Some web hosts like SiteGround charges a premium, but you also get the extra value with faster service and great customer support. With GoDaddy, you don't get that. And let me show you what I mean on my laptop. So I'm here on GoDaddy's website. And if I go to see the web host, so here web hosting, just the normal one. And if you see, all right, they advertise the, uh, the cheapest one is about $6 a month. And that's one website and the specs are here below. Now, if you start looking here, there's some weird stuff like, okay, you have the Microsoft 360 mailbox, uh, free domain, which is nice. Uh, that comes with pretty much all the web hosting providers that provide a free domain. And then you see, okay, new free SSL certificate worth 90, almost $100. You think, okay, that's a pretty good deal. But every other domain registrar offers this for free anyway. So why they even advertise this as a big benefit? And the thing is you get it for the first year free. What happens after that? Let's take a look. Here's the SSL certificate page. If I scroll down, you can see here that there's a 70 bucks for two year uh, contract. But if you change it to one year, it will be $99. Wait, they are selling a product for $99 per year that others give away free. I mean, I'm just speechless. It's a total ripoff. And an SSL certificate is an essential part of having a website. Basically, your browser will show a security warning like this one here. And I think they are just taking advantage of most people not knowing about these things. So if you don't get an SSL, you can't run your website. The third issue I have with GoDaddy is that they have just too many upsells. I mean, every company does it, but, but the way they do it, it's just not authentic and it's just somehow pathetic. It's not only on the website that they do it, but also in their customer support. When you're trying to get help with technical issues, they'll try to upsell you some stuff that you don't need. And they even try to upsell you things when you're transferring your domain name to another domain registrar. They desperately just try to keep you with insane discounts. And I don't know, it just feels so dishonest. And don't get me wrong, GoDaddy has, has decent service. So they are definitely not the slowest. And once your website is up and running, you'll not deal with them that too much. You know, it's not like you're going to contact them every day. So uh, it's not total scam or anything like that. They are a legit business with questionable business practices. Personally, I just lost trust with them and I'm not sure you should take a chance on them either. 
just because there are so many great competitors and what GoDaddy offers is just not up to par with the industry. They just bulldoze their way with huge marketing budgets and they get people with misleading marketing and great first year deals. And after the first year is over, that's when you start regretting signing up with them. That's why a few years ago I left them and I cannot recommend them to anyone. Now let's talk about some great alternatives to GoDaddy. For example, I use Canadian company called HostPapa as my web hosting. They're a mid-tier web hosting company and they deliver what they promise. And by the way, I'll leave all the links I'll mention in the description of this video so you can check them there. But if you're looking for a more affordable option, then check out Hostinger. You get all the basic features you need to start a website with them. And then if you want something more premium and with faster servers, then check out SiteGround. I've tested them in the past and everything works super smoothly and they have great customer support. If you already have a website or a domain name with GoDaddy, don't worry. You can fully transfer it to another web host in about one hour or so by following this video for domain and transfer and this one for web hosting.